Hello friends! Welcome to my channel. I'm Painting Hyun. Today I'm gonna paint beautiful, beautiful red chameleons. So I will use wet on wet technique on the background. Many people have struggled with wet on wet technique. So I recommend it for you. Just practice on the background first. It's easier than on flower. So colors mainly use yellow, vermilion, and crimson lake, and brushes Escoda brush and big wash my uh, brush. Okay, first wetting the paper with washi brush. So one or two times wetting the background paper. Just a little bit of water on the uh, flower area too. Get a sort of blue. I got ultramarine blue and Prussian blue. So if you have any bigger brush, map brush or a plain brush, either Either way, you can use it. This is the first layer for the background. This color ultramarine deep mix. Oh, this is a um, mixture of bluish color and greenish color. Adding under the flower area and on the background too. I got some pond to sienna mix yellow ochre. Throw some stems and branches. Mix vermilion and crimson lake, paint on the flowers, far in the distance flower. This is watery vermilion and uh, add on the uh, small buds. Vermilion mix uh, crimson lake. Paint on the center of the flower. This paper is still very much wet. Okay, move on to main flowers. Getting the same colors, vermilion. Watery vermilion added on the main flower. This is the uh, uh, first layer on the uh, flower. Next, Crimson Lake mix vermilion, so getting a little bit dark and a thicker, thick value of color. So paint on the first layer.
Next flower. I'm using same colors and same uh, brush, same technique on the flower. Vermilion mix crimson lake. The paper in the background is uh, still wet. The water slowly comes into the flowers. Look at the flower, be carefully, right? Okay, I like this kind of effect of accidentally uh, made. I changed brush, uh, this a pointed tiny brush, draw lines on the petals and make sure the darkest point and lines. This is crimson lake mix uh, vermilion. Draw some lines uh, center to edge. This area is uh, still very wet, so water comes into the flowers. So next for leaves, Sap Green Mix Ultramarine Deep color. Sap Green Mix some yellow ochre. Put on the underneath flowers this paper is still wet even though I used a very uh, thick color but it uh, smudges and touch the bay, uh, buzz area This is leaf and stem. Change the brush again. This is very tiny pointed brush. Take out some uh, colors on the uh, petals just to use the dried brush and take some dark thick color draw uh, lines uh, next to it Adding the burnt sienna on the edge of the leaves area. This is a stem. Actually, this is the final touch-ups and draw um, these stems, some uh, dots on the next flower and this is a stem one, I adding on the stem one with yellow color and then I will draw some lines, uh, stands for stems the stem one. Yeah, these lines.
mixture of Ponte Siena and Crimson Lake, a little bit of Ponte Umber. And color is very uh, baby, baby color and yeah, red and green. Hmm. I like it. I changed the brush, uh, Hwahong Ma brush. So just a touch up the background here and there with flower colors, reddish color. Draw some lines on the leaves. Here and there. Draw some lines on the pedal. I use the curve, some curve line. I don't want to draw a straight line on the petals. This is a final touch up. So I got some uh, thick and strong color put on the petal and some background area. Just a touch here and there. So I do like to get a finished painting look later. Okay, this painting almost done. Also, I hope you learned a lot in this video and have fun developing your style. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.